should have got me. I should have made me some tea before I started this. I just was, uh, I wasn't even gonna make a video. But I was like, uh, I'm gonna see if anybody come in here and can help me with this situation. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Charles Robinson was, uh, he was doing a video the other day. And Charles Robinson said, led, uh, try bleach tablets. That way, uh, you can save yourself some space because I was you, you know, I was using this jug of bleach in the in the buckets. I beat the crowds half to death looking for them. Today I went looking for these tablets. And I know it's late. I'm about to go to bed. I just I shouldn't be doing this shit. I know it's late. But I was sitting there like, I found him. And I don't know if this is the brand that he was referring to or not. So I've been up a little late trying to, uh, trying to see which is best. So I did use one of these and I actually bought I bought three different ones. This is the original. And this is uh, Springberry Scent. I shouldn't have got these. The other one is Lavender something. Shouldn't have got them. So let's just deal with these for now. Soon as I got these. Now. Let me, let me just open them up and show you. They strong too. Got some grease too to get candles going. Ooh, they powerful. Okay, this is what they look like. These, uh, bleach tablets try to get the light off of them so you can see it better that's what one looks like pretty cool very strong smelling i'm gonna leave one out for now um the only thing where i'm having a problem i almost was like man this is this is one of the best inventions ever the only place I'm having a problem at is uh, right here. The container itself. Now remember, this is what it looks like. And it's 32 of these in here. And they say all you need is one with one uh, load in the washing machine that to get the job done. They like and for, you know, real dirty clothes. You only need two. That's still says a lot about that tablet. So I'm triple impressed that, you know, I'm reading this. And as I was reading directions, I was like, man, that, you know, that does save a lot of room. I mean, when you, when you start thinking about it, I'm picking it up with my good hand. When you start picking it up, here's the difference. This is concentrated. So, the difference is no comparison. Hey, Dee's child, how you doing, dear? I'm 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 gonna get out of here in a minute. I just want to um, I just want out. I don't know. I'm out. I should be sleep. I don't even know why I ain't sleep. Well, I'm going over this because I'm running out of time. So these are awesome. And like I said, my friend Charles Robinson is the one that, uh, that suggested this in our video the other day. My only problem 
is this container. This container, I'm not going to get away from it. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to use that one because that one is so strong to make my eyes water up. I'm going to use this one because it's not powerful at all. You can literally smell that one. I can open that one and be fine. Yeah. That one is fine because I'm sure with this little funky fragrance, it's not as uh, concentrated or potent. So I'm definitely taking this and that third one back and just get all original. But here's my problem with this. When you smash it, I'm going to use this one again. I'm sorry, I almost messed up. When you smash that, You can smell it. So what that is telling me is if I can smell that, that uh, bleach, that chlorine is going to mix with something else in one of my buckets. And I wish, oh my God, I wish I could remember. I went back and watched that video and everybody has so much good stuff, so many good ideas. Somebody said, be careful what you I think was Frederick Crow. Be careful with all the stuff that you put in each individual bucket because those things mix and you know it becomes toxic. Which you, you couldn't have said it, but I couldn't have said it better myself. And actually, sometimes you don't think about all the stuff. You're just trying to fit everything into one container or one bucket or one bag. You ain't thinking about um, toxic spills and that ends up, you know, mixing with the other stuff and then you got a damn bomb on your back. You really don't think about that. And that put a lot of stuff into perspective for me. So when I, when I read that in the comments the other day, that put it on my mind. So first thing I did, hey, JDS, how you doing, man? I, when I got the container, <clears throat> I grabbed it and I figured maybe, maybe I, the lid ain't tight. Hey, Nene 60, maybe the lid ain't tight, but then I could smell it in the store. The, that's one of the reasons. Hey, Legendre, that's one of the reasons that I got three of them. Not just because different scents, but just I, just, I don't know. So I did that. I smell them. So that got me saying, I'm not going to put these in my, my, my safety pack because these leak. They're letting, they're letting the fumes of these out. And if these fumes mix with the dish soap, and if it mix with the soap, we're going to have a really big problem and a bad day. So I'm going to have to find a better container for these. I'm going to have to find a better container. And do me a favor, if you do end up getting these, uh, buy the original. Buy the original. Be, don't, don't bother, unless you are just going to do some laundry, don't bother doing this one. Uh, the different scents and flavors. Yeah, it smells delicious. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to keep that one and use this for my laundry. But for my uh, my uh, survival stuff, I'm going to just use the original. And I just seen something that just said something. I need some water. Let me see. LaJondra Jackson says, separate your item into a Ziploc bag. The Ziplocs can be used again, and this will be extra waterproofing. You know, that's a, that's a good idea, but you know what scares me? Excellent idea, but what scares me? I don't want, if, if the smell is coming out, it's, it's nine times ten is corrosive. It'll eat a sandwich bag up over a short amount of time. So 
So I'm gonna need something a little bit more durable than a sandwich bag for these. You know, I don't know if you've ever spilled bleach like on metal or something. It don't take long for it, it to make, make it turn into rust, start rusting it and, and bubbling it up or whatever. So it's very corrosive. So I don't trust a sandwich bag. This this container is, is thick, but it's just not, it's, 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 it, it's not containing it like I would like it to. So uh, I just gotta, fit. I think this is a great idea and for all the people that just came in, I'm gonna show you again what that tablet looks like. That's it. I'm going to match it up to my hand so you can really get an idea or maybe even a, um, something that everybody knows about. Ink pen. Small in size. Move this light. So you can get a better idea. You know, that's just a Sharpie marker. I, I don't want to touch it because I know I got to take my contacts and everything else, else out of my eyes tonight. Hey, Rhonda Wells. Here's my finger. So it's very small, but very, very effective and potent. And if you buy these bleach tablets and once you get them and you smell them, you'll be like, yeah, those things, they work. And I've been reading, you see, I done pulled out some reading glass. I'm going to have to go to the eye doctor. And uh, the stuff that it was saying, it does everything that this does. And the ingredients... Is exactly what's in this one. This one says it will clean as much stuff as this little jar will. This is concentrated, so it's saying they can clean the same loads and they can do the same stuff as far as uh, sanitizing and, and, and cleaning as this one, the liquid. So I'm sold. I'm sold on this. I just need a better container, a, a, a bigger, more open container that doesn't leak um, the, the toxic, corrosive smell. LaJondra Jackson said, true, I've been thinking about vacuum bags, maybe not the bleach. Yeah, I wouldn't, once you smell one of these things, you would be definitely not the bleach. Um... <laughs> Maybe not the bleach, but I'm going to do it with other items. Now, as you can see, I did all my other items like that. So using the uh, using the Ziploc bags. Lynn, how much of the tablet? Let me back up. How much of the tablet to water do you use? That. That. Uh, that is a great question. Now, it says one tablet per wash load. If you got a 20-gallon bucket in your washer, you know, I'm thinking 20, 10 to 20 gallons per tablet. And it says for real hard stains, use two tablets for super cleaning. We ain't trying to super clean our guts. We we try to uh, um, sanitize water, you know, with addition to to boiling. Um, hey, Diva Jones, how you doing? I'm just uh, these bleach these bleach tabs we we talking about about uh, ooh, them strong. Hey, natural nature, how you doing? Um, so I'm, I'm thinking it's it's gonna let me let me re, let me just get in there. Uh, just got here myself. Hey, Miss Craft, how y'all doing? It's good to see everybody. I'm gonna just see this real quick because it did. It said it right here, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna misquote this stuff because I think it's awesome, but I don't wanna think it's so awesome that we'd be stupid with it either. One tablet to washing machine. Then add three-fourth cups of water to start dissolving. Close the spencer and start your cycle. Let me go back up here. Regular load. 
So for a regular load, it's saying one add one tablet into the washer, then add the clothes. So it's basically so I'm I'm thinking if you got a 15, 20 gallon drum in your washing machine per one tablet. So that's a lot of water. And not just that, you also got to think of it like this. We're only trying to sanitize our water. So I'm thinking, uh, you don't even need a whole tablet. I would, me personally, I would drop only one of these tablets. Move this light. I would only drop one of these tablets in about 50 gallons of water in a 50-gallon drum. That's what I would do, because if you smell how strong this is, I can, these things, they smell powerful. That's why I'm so concerned about this shoddy ass container. The container is, is lame, but the actual product is impressive. Uh, let me get in here and see who all in here hanging out. We ain't gonna be here too much longer. I just, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I'm out here fooling around. And I said, you know, even Lady Liz, is you still woke? You better come to bed. I'm going, I'm going. Uh, let me see. Because somebody said something. Okay, Rhonda Will or plastic bottles, GG Child. Somebody's on the right, right path I need to see. How much of the tablet to the water use we got that one? Use a small glass mason jar and put the bag inside of it. See, I thought of that too, uh, Gigi's child. I thought of that too. The bag is out of the question, but if this is corrosive, which, you know, bleach is corrosive. And if you don't see, if you have never seen how corrosive bleach can be, Go get like a um, a soup can or something that you've already used and put a cap full of bleach in it and watch what it do to the can. So my problem is the glass, I thought of that. Excellent idea. But your lid is metal. And if, the, if this smell and the corrosiveness gets to that, so I'm thinking I just need something a little bit more secure that may be just like all plastic. If I could find something that's all plastic that won't burp like that, I'll be in business. I think the product inside is a game changer versus this. I can fit, shoot, I'm gonna say I could fit about eight of these in the same space this would take up and have this little thing can do everything that this bottle can. So that's like having eight of these bottles. I just need a better, I just need a better container. I think if this, uh, my friend Charles Robinson that came into the, the, the live the other day, his suggestion was incredible. I know I've heard of him, but I've never seen him. Uh, Miss Craft, five drops per gallon. Interesting, let me go back up. Just Google bleach to purify water for 50 gallons use 2.5 teaspoons. Right. Okay. I've never knew the exact, exact um number for that. Who said that, Miss Crab? But I use a cap full for about 50 gallons. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this cap off. This is how I was doing, thinking about it, okay? Eyeballing it pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That cap versus that. And if this is concentrated, I will use this one tablet or half of that tablet for, now look at that, how big it is versus the cap. You know what I'm saying? I would use either half of this tablet or a whole tablet, depending on the condition of the water, to help purify the water. This is why I said um, that water purifier mechanism thing in Majiggy that I had, I'm it, I'm not impressed with it, and I probably never used that thing, you know. But um, let me see. Hey, New Orleans Garden, how you doing? You up you up late too? Uh, FR saw said I was under the impression that you 
used use those in the septic system. Um, no, I I've never done that before. Um, alternative to bleach for emergency stash. Exactly, that's what that is. Uh, uh, I.e. inclement weather. Rhonda Will said. Okay, I went too far. Bleaching. Use plastic. Okay, got that one. How much of the tablet? Okay, it was one more. Make sure I put it back. I got that. It's one more that I'm looking for that I, I, I really want to. Okay, LaJondra said, true. I've been thinking about vacuum bags maybe. Going, wait, wait, it's something else. It's one more that I'm looking for. Ziploc bags that I saw and I really wanted to. Maybe, maybe I, I missed it. I'm sorry, you guys. Haven't been here long. I, I'm not um the mislay. And what this is right now, I'm up late and I'm I'm exhausted from earlier. All I'm asking for is suggestions right now. I ain't talking junk or nothing right now. I'm asking like a lot of people do a lot of arts and crafts and, and, and stuff like that. And I don't know. It, I shouldn't even think about this right now. I figure why the hell not? I bought a damn row. I done did like a billion videos in the last few days. So I said, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, natural. Let me go back up here. Okay, New Orleans Garden say yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Uh, Lejandra Jackson, old medicine bottles. Maybe the they won't grow. I, you know what? I keep these. Here's one right here that I was experimenting with, and what I'm gonna do. Once I finish scraping this crap off, is uh, give this a shot. This ain't nothing but some vitamins, but it came in one of these glass jars with a plastic top. I'm gonna try to put them in here and see what happened once I clean this up. And if I can still smell it, it's a fail. I don't wanna be able to smell, uh, smell this tablet at all. So, let me go back in here. Rhonda Wells, you need plastic with the thickness of a, uh, my lentil bottle. <laughs> my, lentil. my lentil is funny to me. That's a, that's a long story. I'll tell you about that later. My lentil. Just saying the word my lentil is hilarious to me. Uh... The Miss Lady for real says, I keep gallons of bleach at all times. Yeah, we do too. Not just for water heads. Just ain't for washing clothes. Matter of fact, use it a lot to, you know, clean around the house. A lot. Uh, okay. Let me get back in here. Miss Norton's garden in the house all late. Uh, okay, natural nature. I would, I wonder if peroxide will work to purify water. I quit using bleach years ago and now use peroxide and other vinegar to sanitize and clean my house and clothes. That's a good question. Natural nature, do me a favor if you can, right? Well, do us all a favor right now so we can all learn something. Do me a favor and kind of log off. Go Google that real quick and come back and tell us what you what you see. That would be a great idea if you can do that for me. Because I don't have my iPad. It's upstairs in the room charging. I don't want to disturb Lady Lead. If you can do that, uh, natural nature, can you Google that for us and see? That'll be something we could all learn tonight, if possible. That's a great, that's a great question. Miss uh, Lady For Real says, one suggestion to share if you're not dampen, it, if you're hot, dampen a sheet. Uh-oh, wait a minute, I hit the wrong button here. 
If you're hot, dampen a sheet to keep your body cool. Got this from my 98-year-old grandmother. Y yeah, that's an old remedy. That's an old remedy. Matter of fact, I do that to uh, for my allergies when I'm snorting and hacking and coughing. You know what helps? Take your tie, or when you get a fever, you don't gotta keep soap dunking that in the water. Take it, pick it up once that rag get hot from your fever, take it, ring around your head like a helicopter, like uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Petey Pablo, and then put it back on the head, it's ice cold when you do that. So yeah, you do the same thing uh, for your body. Okay, let me see, let me see. Uh, nature, it can be, can be what? Natural nature, it can be, but you have to be careful when battery about to come out. Careful of drinking the water. It will kill some pathogens, but not all. Very true. That's why I say, um, I'm going to unplug, unplug this so I can plug my phone in. Because I really want to wait for uh, Miss natural, natural Nature before any of us log out because she had a hell of a question and I'm very interested in the answer. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that, oh, oh, by the way, what Diva Jones just said, uh, this is not, this is not the only way to purify the water. Uh, I would boil it either first or after. I would definitely boil it. Um, no doubt. I would not just use bleach tablets or any other uh, water purifier system for that matter. I would boil it first, then uh, go through those different methods of purifying your water. Okay, Miss Lady, for real, you can also use old cooking oil to help fuel a fire or get one started and you know what you'll be surprised i went to the store i haven't bought hard lard or grease in so long everybody used vegetable oil lick some kind of liquid oil olive oil so on and so forth you just i had no idea they it's hard to find something with uh um animal fat in it or some kind of that oil that will burn. It's really hard to find that. I couldn't believe it. I had to actually, I went to get a can of Crisco and it was like, almost like it was like, uh, uh 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 This is just some old vegetable oil now. Like, wow, really what happened? You know, uh, I couldn't believe that. I had to go buy this, this shortening and once I bought the shortening, you you should have seen me and Lady Led. I had Lady Led and I had Little Led, and we all in the store in the aisle way reading grease buckets. And the people was looking at us. We all like this. But the funny thing about it was, they was like, if they on a diet, what the hell is they looking for the ingredients for? They could just set that shit down. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ever see people, you know, they, they either are um, diabetics or they're on a diet or they're trying to look for the carbs or the calories or the sugars. You know what I'm saying? To see, like, okay, this ain't going to work for us. We sitting here reading lard buckets like this. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This is what we looking for. This got all the stuff in it. People walking by looking at us like, what? kind of diet is that? So, I seen the people faces when they walked by and it just made me laugh and I told Lady Lynn, I said, they think we on a diet and, and reading lard buckets for calories. <laughs> we had a good time today. We really did. Oh, it was my nephew's birthday. We had a good time. Okay, let me go back. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, let me get in here. Miss Craft, something you said on your last video that made me think about something else. We need to be prepared. We need to 
be in shape to carry the bug out buckets. I need to hit the gym for real. You know what? Amen to that. Because <clears throat> you don't know when you got to get your ass up and walk. You don't know when you're going to have to carry somebody else's load either. Trust me, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about it, but so many different other things had me my attention. I, I just, but yes, cardio. I don't know if you've ever watched the movie, um, Zombieland. Zombieland. He got some good rules in there. I mean, it's 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 a funny movie. It's kind of like a like a funny horror movie kind of, but he got some good ideas for real life, real situations, you know. And one of them was cardio. You need to be able to run. If you can't run, but like to the next house next to you, we in some trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cardio. And that made me think I better step my game up too. Now I can run, but can I still run like I used to and be able to sustain that for X amount of time? I guarantee I cannot. I know I can't. So it's time for me to even think more about that and not just, you know, I'm trying to slim down. No, if I need to get, get up and run, or even walk fast away from something. I better be able to do it. So, okay. Let me get back in here. Oh, she said she mean old grease. Old used grease. Yeah, I, I got you, Miss uh, Lady, for real. Somebody else told me it's hard to find Crisco and shortening and stuff. They sell lard readily around me. Listen, I... I couldn't read the lard. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not even going to pretend. I found lard. Lard was actually in the, um, it was in the aisle with the shortening. They call it shortening now. But it was in the same aisle, but it was in Spanish. So when I was about to read my, about to read my, my ingredients on the grease bucket. Couldn't read it. Lady Leg can read it, read it a little bit, but I was like, just let it go. We got what we need. Because this right on the front says prepared with animal and vegetable fats. That's all I needed to know. I know animal meat gonna burn. That's what I was looking for. And it's hard as a rock. That's the old school shit right there. That right there is what's up. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Miss Crab seen uh Zombie Land. It's actually, I know this sounds crazy. It's actually one of my favorite movies because it's it's so right. It's so with Woody Harrelson, it's so right. It's so good. You know, and they kind of teach show you a couple things in real life. That's the crazy part about it. Um Hey, Food Force Permaculture, everybody in here tonight, we all must can't sleep. The Miss Lady for Real, that was the other thing about that lard that I found. It cost double what this cost. This was $3. That lard in Spanish was $6 and something I sent for a little bucket. And I'm like, I'm trying to make several candles here. You know, that's if I'm going to spend six dollars for one candle, I'll just go buy some freaking candles. It just didn't make sense for what I was using it for. So I can make tons of candles or just make this into a giant candle that burn for about five years. Um, it, it was no reason for that. Hey, Kira, mommy of five. How you doing tonight? Everybody woke tonight. Y'all should be shaming yourself up. Late with me. I've been seeing yawning. Don't look at me. It'll make you yawn. <sighs> It'll make you yawn too. Hey, Cheryl's okay. Food for us. <laughs> this is a. 
This is a rough crew right here we got tonight. This is a rough crew. We all must be. We had a rough day, can't sleep. Miss Lady for real, old fish, chicken, etc. grease is good. The heavier things always drop to the bottom. If you're desperate, you can always reheat and filter it. Exactly. You know what? I was even thinking about going out there to my old barbecue grill and dig out some of the goodies <laughs> at the bottom of that. And I got a gas grill. I know that got a chunk of hard grease from them doggone T-bones and stuff like that I cook. I know it do because I got to clean it out before I use it again. That's some good burner right there too. Okay, let me see. Uh Miss uh Miss Lady for real, you can you can dip a dried stick, Q tip, cotton ball, moss dried grass to get that fire started. Miss Miss Lady for real, you on your you on your thing tonight. I'm impressed. Uh fishes and loaves. Hey fishes and loaves, good to see you in here tonight. Well, shoot, the big old hurricane off the coast of Florida. Still, I'm not sleeping. I know none of us are. I think we all got it on our mind a little too much. Miss Lady Frill use coffee filters to filter. Coffee filters, here's the thing. Now, I've done that. I've, I use coffee filters for a lot of stuff. The thing about a coffee filter is if you don't keep that oil hot, I've done that before. The coffee filter instantly makes the oil uh, solidify again, and then you're going to have a mess on your hands. So you got to keep it hot. Coffee filters might be filtering it a little too much. You might have to let a couple chunks of old french fry fall in there. You know what I'm saying? So so it don't be so bad. You should, I, you know, worry about it. So I understand what you're saying, but I've never had too much. You can, it'll filter for a minute and then, you know, that filter is cooler than the grease and it'll solidify. Maybe, maybe a, um, a colander or something, one of those little mesh screens that you filter in like spaghetti and stuff. Maybe that, that's as filtering as I'm going to do with, I'm not trying to purify the, um, the lard in the Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> I'm not trying to purify it. Lake Minnetonka. So, uh, uh, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, for real, I'm in Louisiana, and that hasn't been there, and that hasn't been a storm that have I haven't seen or survived. Amen to that. Good for you. You you very needed here in this community with your experience. Of fishes and loaves for life says fire starters. I mean, let me see what you okay. Fishes and loaves said lint with the grease is what you're what you're doing. Yeah, we actually in here tonight talking about these these bleach tablets that Charles Robinson um suggested the other night. Hey Debbie Thomas, how you doing? Um right and uh Miss Lady, Miss Lady for real says, I'm only doing this for my area in my warmer climate. This works for me in my area. Amen. Because some, some people take this a little too literal. So no problem. Um, We was talking about these bleach tablets because Charles Robinson suggested this to us in our uh, live chat the other day. And I thought it was incredible because it replaces this eight times fold. So, we were talking about just getting another better container for the bleach tablets. They are cool. I, I'm impressed by them for everybody that just came in the room. That's one of these bleach tablets right here. That's how big it is. That's all to it. Just a little bitty tablet. Here's my thumbnail to give you some idea of the size of it. It's tiny, but it does the exact same as this, but using less. So just in case you guys are interested, only difference is putting this with your pack. You're right, Green Organic Love. I Oh, so that's what the question I was looking for earlier. Where did you find it? I found this in Walmart today. I found it at Walmart in the bleach aisle. 
but it wasn't nowhere by the bleach. It's, it was like all the way at the end of the aisle by like the um, the fabric softeners, the liquid fabric softeners. I'm looking all on at the bleach and then we finally ask a little lady that actually knew something. You know, people in people in Walmart, their job is not to know everything or where everything is. Their job is to keep the store stocked. This woman knew. I wasn't about to ask her nothing. Lady Led said, right, we ain't going to be doing this all day. Ma'am, where are the bleach tablets? Oh, right over here. I said, I'll be damned. She actually knows. I would have never found it. I literally had to turn around and it was on a whole other eye. I mean, a whole other shelf behind me with the fabric softeners. I don't know if they supposed to be like that, but they were. So these are awesome. This is going to change not just my laundry game, you know what I'm saying? It's going to change my little uh, survival kit game too. I just got to find a better container. Hey, lady, hell of a, how you doing? Let me see. Uh, the, the Miss Lady for real just wanted to tell you, Led, that I served in the military, but I never served in a war. I come from a retired military family, both sides of me of my husband, family, are military. I salute you, soldier. I do. I appreciate your service. Your knowledge is, is greatly needed here in this community. Uh, Green Organic Love said, Walmart has these. I'm going to look tomorrow. I'm telling you, this is going to change everything for my normal personal life and my preparedness. Let me see. Okay, let me get back in here. Hey, Debbie Thomas. So, okay, we got everything. I think I read everything. Debbie Thomas, did you see the, my comment on the other <clears throat> on the other video for uh, other day for baking soda, deodorant, pot scrubbing, uh, washing dishes, dry shampoo, put out small fires. You know what? I just read that about an hour ago. And I did put that on the list. Uh, and I keep, I don't, I buy baking soda by, in the big giant box. Like, because I use, I use it for my laundry too. So that's a good idea. That one will be going in the pack. And you know what else you can use it for? Brushing your teeth. You don't got to keep... Carrying no toothpaste all of it. Baking soda works way better than uh, that paste crap. Uh, Miss Lady For Real, thank you for teaching me things I didn't know. All survival needs are different. Yes, ma'am, they are. And, and I'm just I'm just going off of what I what I do. And you guys show me you this list is is belongs to you. This list came that we made, <clears throat> trust me, this is some of the stuff I got today and some of the stuff I still need to get. This is the list. This is, you could say, the Greenhouse Lounge survival list because these ideas came from you guys. You should see how much stuff I got down here because of some of your suggestions. Everybody, everybody that um, contributed in that video with their ideas we all went over it, and I wrote that stuff down. And I, I literally went out and got that stuff today. Tablets, grits. I got some other stuff, too. The, the grease candles. I went out and got all that stuff just because you guys said it. The baking soda, I got tons of that, and I'll pack some of that up, too. Um, oh, and the antacid. No, Lady Led need that. You know, everything make her guts hurt. Um. Sharon Harris, you awake too? We all awake tonight. We know, we know that we should be asleep. Let me get back in here. Lady Helva, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Appreciate it. I hope, I hope you continue to enjoy them. Good night, Food Forms Permaculture. I appreciate you, man. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Okay, you guys. Uh, hell, uh. DJ Jones, digging your videos, sister. Please keep your videos coming because when I served in the 80s, aren't the same things we're dealing with uh, 
as civilians. I, <clears throat> I said that in a couple of different videos just recently in the last couple of days. And the reason I said it, because I got, y'all just don't know, I'm exhausted. Um, I got so much. Um, I got so many different responses on email that it, it threw me off. I had no idea it was going to be so, um, such a big deal. But you guys, I'm telling you, I just kept telling all these different uh so-called branches of the military. I don't know if they was real soldiers or not. All I can do is go by their word. I did catch a little gamer, though. I caught a gamer where he learned half his stuff that was utterly ridiculous. But for the most part, uh, this is how I do it as a civilian. I'm not going to war in Iraq. I kept telling him, dude, that helped you live in Desert Storm. I'm not going to Desert Storm. I'm not going to Iraq. I'm not going to Saudi. I'm not going to Germany. I'm not going to Korea. You keep forgetting. It's totally different, dude. It's totally different. Okay, here we go. Diva Jones, hey guys, if you aren't done already, please hit the like button for Lead. Thank you so much, Diva. You know what? And uh, what's up, guys and gals? Just got out of work. Hey, Loza Farming, good to see you here tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. We just messing around real quick. I just needed some help. Crayons can double purpose for kids and candles. That is a good idea. Yes, it can. And one thing that I didn't, I didn't stress enough, and that's what I'm going to get as soon as I wake up and put my drawers on. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get, for, you know how kids got that big old, you can get that big bucket of colored chalk for kids. I went looking for my chalk because I had a little piece of chalk here and there. I don't got no chalk. And I said that yesterday. How and that is so important to be able to write and tell somebody where you at, you know, write on the wall, write, write directions or mark a territory where you've been like laying down breadcrumbs so you don't get lost. because You don't know where you're about to end up and what works better. Nothing works better than a good piece of chalk. You know what I'm saying? On the sidewalk, on a tree, because I was thinking, you know, pencils. And pens are good when you're writing on paper. Pencils will do a little bit, but you try to write on the sidewalk with a pencil, it's going to eat it up real quick. A piece of chalk, chalk is made for that kind of stuff. Sidewalk, a tree, even in the dirt in certain spots. Chalk, and it goes a long way. So I'm going tomorrow and grab me one of those little buckets of chalk, and I'm going to put that stuff all over the place. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of good stuff pop in. Uh, Michelle Yee, what you doing here this late? Everybody in here, this turn it to the Survival Greenhouse Lounge. Everybody's in here. Don't look at me. You go, you go, yeah. You go, yeah. You keep on seeing that. Uh, Michelle Yee, y'all might laugh, but I suggest foot powder to your kid. My husband has a problem. <laughs> Say, my. My husband has a problem with that. I found a little, oh crap, a, a little travel size one for public. You know what else can work for his feet? Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a postal worker. These dogs be barking sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, where's my foot bucket? I got a, my own foot bucket when I come home to soak my feet and, and scrub off that stink. Because I can't get in the bed like that. She ain't having it. So, baking soda. The same thing we was talking about that could brush your teeth, wash your dishes, put out a fire, all of those uses for it. <clears throat> Baking soda on them dogs. Make bust that funk down a little bit. Uh, let me see. Let me get in here. Oh, no, you was that's a good one though, Michelle Yi. The Miss Lady for real, military won't tell that civilian life different. Uh, military won't tell 
that civilian life very different and many military people can't cope. Why do you think these folks are committing suicide? War, civilian life isn't made for TV. I've been trying to say that in there. I, you should, I promise you, I wish you, if, if I was that kind of person, because it's, it's some YouTubers to do that stuff. If I was that kind of person, I would, sh I feel like this. When you guys speak to me and you email me, I call that behind the curtain. What goes on behind the curtain, to me, that's off the record. So if I could just show you guys all of the emails I receive every day, if I don't answer your email right away, you have no idea. It is buried. And I have to hunt for, I look for certain names that I can remember and I try to answer them. But the ones that I've been opening in the last couple of days, it's just been like, conflicting conflicting but you are correct i mean it's so many different um people that just can't cope with what, what i'm doing because they've been doing that for so long they've been living that life that's their life they don't know that you know you don't what i'm trying to do i'm not going to need a satellite phone you know what I'm saying? A satellite phone. I'm not going to need that. And do you know how much that costs? That's military grade shit. That, the stuff that they was naming off. Well, not just that person, but several people. It's like, who has the money to buy this stuff? The, only the U.S. government. I'm a postal worker. I'm not a soldier. We both work for the feds. But we on two entirely different playing fields. So let me see. Uh, Duke Sage, how you doing, my friend? Uh, said, what's up, Liv? I'm a 73. Running late tonight. I have to go back to work. I understand. Don't don't worry. You ain't missing nothing. Uh, Miss Lady, for real. You can find buckets of chalk at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. That's all I need to know right there. That's Lady Linda's spot right there. She go to the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Dollar, Holla Dollar Dollar, Holla 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 Holla. holla. <laughs> uh, Fishes and Lows and Michelle deodorant too while while clean. Oh yeah, for the uh the baking powder, baking soda. Uh, Miss Lady for real. My husband didn't serve. He said he would never do it, and don't see how I did it. Everybody can't everybody can't do everything. You know? I was a nurse. Everybody can't do that job. To just keep repeatedly watching people die over and over and over again. And there's nothing you can do. Some people, some people don't uh just can't ain't cut out for that kind of stuff. Or don't even believe in it. Let's try that. Rhonda Wells, not everyone can. It's not for everyone. There you go. That you just, I just, you just said what I said exactly, or I said what you said. I didn't see that post yet. Uh, the Miss Lady for real, you have to be able to transition from military to civilian, and a lot of people can't. Amen to that. A lot of people can't, and it's it's clearly proven. Uh. It's clearly proven by um by the stuff I've been reading in my emails in the last couple of days. Hmm. What's going on, you guys? What's going on? I'm seeing something. Oh, that was an accident. Okay, I was like, uh oh, I'm seeing something happening. Wrong. Okay. It's okay. Um, let me see. I'm in a Lajandra says I'm in the military and have have been for twenty years. Those folks that judge civilians for being prepared are most of the times very good at in the military. I'm sure. I'm sure they're very good in the military in those situations. I'm sure that. I have no doubt that they are. I'm just saying, you know, it's like a prisoner in a way, uh, just a different 
side of the spectrum, think about it. A prisoner, they finally set this dude free from being locked up for 15 years. I done seen mugs only locked up for 10 years. I done seen people locked up for five and come out scratching their head like, fuck. I know one man. Now, you want to hear a true story of a person that can't cope? with the new world since they've been gone. <clears throat> this is a true story. No names. I know a guy personally that was in jail for five years. I was dating his daughter when I was younger. I've heard this man on the phone for a couple of years, maybe a year or so, I'm going to say. I heard this man trying to tell me about dating his daughter, he in prison. And he telling me what I can't do around his daughter. Now we young, young, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, I'm not even down like that. I'm lucky to be getting a kiss right now. You dig what I'm saying? They set that sucker free. He won't supposed to get out, but they turn him loose. Now I had to meet him head on one day. Do you know what? He was out for maybe two months, three months, something short, short like he couldn't take it. And this was in the 80s. Like, think about that. Now, he been in there since just say the early 80s. This was like in the mid 80s, 85, 86-ish. Imagine he can't handle what the world looks like now. Now, this ain't all cell phones and, and iPads and stuff. He was so hard up, and he was having such a hard time transitioning back into the world because so much had changed from 1980 or 79, whatever he did, to 1985, 86, whatever it was. He had such a hard time transitioning. Guess how he ended up going back to jail? He walked into a drugstore grabbed a deck of cards. Now, this was my girlfriend's at the time father. Grabbed a deck of cards and told the clerk, bitch, I'm going to kill you. Called the police. This, this is, I can't make this crazy shit up. He had her call the police. He let her call the police. And he said, tell him I got a gun. Tell him I got a gun. And tell him I'm, I'm going to blow your head off down her ear. They came, beat his ass, took him back to jail, and I've never seen him again. He wanted to make sure he go back to jail and could never get out because he cannot function back into this world the way what from where when he left off to when he got out, it was to him it was like back to the future type shit, you know. He wanted to go back that bad where he actually bas basically staged and faked a crime to go back. That's a true story. Let me see. I'm sorry for, for um, leaving y'all hanging. I had to get that out of my system. Okay, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Good to see you. Uh... Hey, Angela's Busy Bee Garden. Everybody done came here tonight. Uh, Sharon Harris went to Walmart today. They have some of the coolest stuff in the sports sections. What, well, what kind of cool stuff did you see, Sharon Harris? Um, fishes and loaves, you cracking jokes like you obviously got uh, good at to deal with the trauma. I missed something. Oh, you talking to a lady, Miss For Real? I'm in the military. I've been 20 years, folks. Still civilian. Okay, let me keep it rolling. Lynn says, speaking of dollar stores, all of the over-the-counter medications has to meet the same FDA standards. Miss hmm. Linda said something like that. She said something. Oh no, no, no. She was talking about the seeds. The seeds. Now they're dealing with the FDA and everything else. And this world is going to shit. Um, LaJondra said, I said not very good. Okay, I'm y'all talking to each other. Sorry. Diva Jones, thanks for the service of all the military folks here. Amen to that. We could not do anything that we are doing tonight without your help. 
I had to, Michelle Yee, I had to put my nursing career on hold after 10 years because it just got too much stress on top of caring for my husband. He got injured while at war. Let me tell you something, Michelle Yee. I totally understand. And I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not a nurse anymore. And I, I, I mention it from time to time, but I try not to think about it. I'll leave that right there. <clears throat> hey, GT Grow. How you doing, man? Hello from Alaska, Mr. Lev Farm 73. How you doing? <clears throat> Felicia Alexander, I have served in the Army for 25 years. Now retired, and yes, it has been difficult for me. I can truly understand. Rhonda Wells, wish I could hang in there, but y'all got to hit this bed. I got to hit this bed. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much, Rhonda Wells. We all about to follow right behind you. It's been an hour now. Um, okay, Miss Lady For Real, folks, won't tell you that the military is brutal and has its own set of crimes that will never see daylight or damn newspaper, and so does the medical field. Matter of fact, you say too much in the medical field, you might end up floating face down some damn where. Because the stuff that you see, uh, who was that that said there was a nurse? <clears throat> the stuff that you see and the stuff that you find out <clears throat> is some evil shit. That's all I'm going to say. It was over-the-counter meds at the dollar store. At the Dollar Tree. I knew Ms. Linda knew it was over the counter meds at the Dollar Tree. Loads of farming. Led, I was able to taste my first pawpaw today. So good and yummy. Reminded me of a jackfruit a little. I wish I could taste a pawpaw. I don't know what they taste like. I just heard they freaking delicious. So I, I, I am waiting for the day I can taste one. A friend of mine um, gave me one and it didn't make it. Um, Mr. Adam Ness gave me one. He drove all the way over here to give me that treat, and it did not make it. I wish it would have. Um, Fishes and Low Walmart had those baskets of generics in the front of the store. They don't do that anymore because a lot of my medications around my house and was in my bucket was from that, you know, everything was like 99 cent from allergy pills to aspirin to... Uh, cough syrup, they stopped doing that. I asked the people, I asked both of the Walmarts around here, what happened? They was like, they don't know, they ain't doing that no more. So if you guys still got that, that's a that's excellent. Thank you, Fish is Low. Uh, I, it definitely is really hard. My depression and anxiety is bad. Gardening helps me a little. Gardening helps us all a little. John D. Jackson, network yourself with retired military folks. I have joined lots of groups and they have helped me through. Oh, let me see. Lady For Real, thank you. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Reed, for help. Led, I'm sure. Huh? Thank you, Led, for helping my family transition. From, oh, it, maybe it's not me. Transitioning from things that nothing but common civilian, civilian sense. Because I don't and suggest to everyone tonight, don't depend on the government to save you ever. Amen. That's why, that's why I tell you, you know what? Make sure you can protect your own self. Don't be waiting for the police. Don't be waiting for the police to help you. And don't be waiting for them to, you got to be ready to do some of this yourself. So I know what you meant, Miss Lady, for real. I kind of figured that I just didn't want to, you know, take the credit or nothing like that. Le uh, Michelle Lee, Led, I just got, oh, I got that one. I went back way too far. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Yee. Fisher's Lowe's for Life at Michelle Yee helps to um, be on Led Lives and watch his videos. We have a good time. I like to have a good time. And, and, and you know what? This is how we're going to end this video. Um, coming up, everybody keep your eyes peeled, keep your ears open, because what we're going to do from now on, I kind of want to, you know, 
give it up for everybody's birthday when we can. So coming up in the next day or so, just to take a little bit of the steam off of the storm barreling our way, what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, new subscriber uh, margarita meet and greet. So I'm going to take that ice machine. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because me and my two sisters already had our own damn uh, a greenhouse lounge margarita night. And I said, you know what? They would have loved this. So we're going to have us a, sep a, a September birthday, new subscriber, margarita greet meet and greet in the greenhouse lounge either tomorrow or the day after we are going to um we are going to come together in the greenhouse lounge and celebrate everybody's birthday and all of our new subscribers here uh on at the greenhouse lounge on this channel you know giving it up because it's been a lot of new subscribers a lot of new names a lot of new faces and just like we do here you talk to each other it's not about just me I learned from you too. So we're going to come together in a day or two. And, and what I'm going to do, just so you know, I'm going to do a quick, short video and say, tonight is going down. Tonight. Okay, so you know and you can be aware because I'm not all hip on all the fangled gadgetry and technological advancements. So that's what I'm going to do and let you guys know it's going down. And for that birthday, just like we did last month, it's going to be a cake or something with candles in it of the month. Now, last month, we had carrot cake. Remember, it's still a gardening thing, okay? So, I'm thinking lemon pie, it had whatever is going to be that we sticking candles in, it has to be, um, it has to be garden related. So, it could be lemon pie, lemon meringue pie, Key lime pie, banana pudding, carrot cake. It got to be, when we do our birthday, it got to be garden themed cake that we going to blow that candle out on. I just wish I could, I could invite everybody to it. One day, I'm working on it. One day, I'll be able to invite you to the actual Greenhouse Lounge. I'm working on it. So, thanks everybody tonight. Everything you said tonight, all of you, you you helped each other. Strawberry shortcake. I freaking like that. I like that. Matter of fact, that might have won right there. So, we are going to, and just keep throwing those at me, Okay. Keep throwing all those ideas at me because that gives me an idea for every month. A garden theme cake or pie or dessert that we're going to jam a candle down in and blow that light out. Okay, so uh, Lay Farmers Aaron 3, you want some pawpaw seedlings? I got seedlings. I want the fruit. I want a <laughs> uh, st straw. You know what, Miss Craft? Strawberry shortcake and strawberry daiquiri. That, now, that sounds delicious. So, okay, Michelle was asking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Michelle was asking. Oh, I, I missed it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Diva. Let me see. Live Farm 73, I have too many pawpaw seedling. Uh, would you want some? You know what? Um, I got them. My friend don't live too far from me. He, he got them. I appreciate you, though. I really do. Don't go through no trouble. Uh, I just, I really want one to grow and really, you know, do his thing. But I don't want it to do a whole bunch of traveling. It seems like they're very sensitive. Uh, so don't you ain't got to go through no trouble for me, darling. I appreciate everything you you trying to do for me. I really do. Uh, Miss Lady, for real, I'll be honest. I didn't even have my survival. My survival, whatever you want to call it, together. I'm uh, meticulous with things until I saw 
Dang, I keep hitting the wrong button. Y'all see I ain't got my iPad. Meticulous with things until I saw your video and realized my stuff wasn't survival. Uh, I was way off kilter. You know, that that's okay. And like I say, I'm just doing it my way. I'm just doing it my way. Uh, like we do, we just throw ideas back and forth at each other. And that's what, again, that's what this list was. We're just bouncing ideas off of each other. Like, yeah, that will work for me. Yeah, that ain't going to work for me. Yeah, I want that. Mm, I don't need that. So that's, that's how it is. Thank you so much, Michelle Yee. I really appreciate you. I really do. Uh, okay, let me get in here. Hey, Diva. What did I miss? Hey, Stephanie Valdez, you would. Come on, no, no two-hour show tonight. Uh, first two hours of Liz, four hours. <laughs> she catching up. The first two hours on my four-hour video. I had no idea that took four hours, but that was actually a four-hour video that, to me, was worth it. Uh, I, I gave as much information as I could. So, hey, you guys, let's get out of here. I'm going to go up here and curl up and try to start this thing again tomorrow. But be looking out for the Greenhouse Lounge. We're going to go in there and we're going to celebrate before we have to buckle down and get ready for this storm. Okay? So, i uh, come up with something. And a lot of y'all got some really nice harvest in your garden. I still want to see this stuff. I'm watching y'all videos. I still want to get this stuff and check it out. Good night, fishes, lo uh, loaves, and life. Say good night, Liv. Farmer Seven Three and Lady Lid. Y'all stay safe. Everyone else, uh, night two and stay safe. I will have to go back and watch the live. Check out your offer up. Check out your offer up on Craigslist to trade for Paw Paw. I will. I'll. I'll try that. Thank you. Good night, uh, Michelle Yee. Good night, Diva Jones. Uh, fishes, fishes and loaves. Stephanie Valdez. Good night, Miss Diva Jones. Good night, Miss Craft. Uh, let me keep it going. Good night, Miss Linda, Miss Orlando Gardner. Good night, Green Organic Love. Good night, and thank you, Miss, the Miss Lady for real. Thank you for all of the information that you had tonight. You are much appreciated tonight. Good night, Sharon Harris. Good night, Loza of Farming. You guys were awesome. I appreciate you. Nene 60, good night. Y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to go up here and do this. Thank you so much. You know, one thing, <clears throat> a couple years back, I was always thinking like, good night, FR Saul, my friend. I was always thinking, what am I going to do next? What kind of content am I going to do next? I got to keep thinking of content. That's the worst thing a YouTuber can do. Because you don't get to know people when you keep doing that. Guava, Miss New Orleans Gardner. Guava, Miss Linda. Wish I had something other than these bleach tablets. <laughs> you know, so I'm glad we got a chance to know each other. It makes things way more interesting. And it's always a lot easier when you kind of feel a connection with other people, it makes doing this a lot easier. Thank you, Angela's Busy Bee in Garden. Good night, Gigi's child. Good night, everybody. I'm going to get on off of here, okay? Y'all have a wonderful night. Go pick these bleach tabs up. I don't know if they're going to be the same brand or not. I don't know. But these are awesome. Stay away from these fruity smelling ones. I don't think they're... Think about this. Do you really want your water to be tasting like spring berry scent and, and uh, fall lavender? I don't think um, I don't think that's what we want to do. I'll save these for my socks. But this one right here, we'll, we'll save that for our um, sanitation of water and other things. That's the original... Thank you, guys. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Everybody be safe. You you take care. Care Mommy of Five. Have a wonderful night, little lady. What's going on, D Mills? No, she said, finally caught one. Sorry, bro. I'm about to get off right now. 
Leah Farmer 73. I love all of you guys. Have a wonderful night. Okay. I can't even open my eyes right now. Sorry, bro. I'm going to catch you on the next one, uh, D Mills. You hear me? I'm going to catch you on the next one. Matter of fact, tomorrow I'm going to go over to your channel and check you out, man. All right. You know I'm sleeping when I'm getting that damn clumsy. I love you, and I'm out.